Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Today I want to talk about this bad boy right here. I've had so many questions on my ice fishing graph setup over the past two years or so ever since I kind of made this thing that I figured, you know, I'm going to make a video for you guys, kind of explain how I made it, why I made it, why it is the way it is kind of deal. And hopefully I just heard your questions if you were in the same situation as I am. But I mean, other than that, let's just get right into it and let's start off with the juice of this ice fishing setup. So if you open this puppy up, you will see that I have two Dakota Lithium 12 volt 10 amp an hour batteries in here and they are the juice of this whole setup. First, started using these batteries last ice fishing season and all I can say is wow. They are so light for the size. I run two in parallel, as you guys can see, actually I started using one at the end of the season. But I have two in here in parallel and I literally did not charge any of the batteries for like two or three weeks and I fished probably five times on the ice within those two or three weeks. It's crazy. They last very, very long. They're very, very light. Um, let me take one of these out for you guys and show you before I get into the rest of the box because this is the batteries make the whole setup. But I'm going to leave links to Dakota Lithium and to Cabela's.ca down below in the description if you guys want actual like statistics and all that stuff. But this battery, if I remember correctly, weighs 2.6 pounds, which is like half the size of a lead acid battery at this capacity. Um, it charges super, super fast very very fast and it lasts very very long which is the main reason why i went with lithium batteries is because they last for absolutely ever you know i have my graph on the whole time when i'm ice fishing the whole time and i cannot have my graph die i've had days in the past where my graph died a couple hours in or half a day in and then what i mean i could fish without a graph but with my confidence on the ice I need a graph. I don't feel confident on the ice without a graph if I can't see what's going on. And so having a battery that lasts you the whole day, multiple days, is very, very important to me. And that's, again, the main main reason why I went with the Coda Lithium, is for how long they last. Now, like I said, I actually have two batteries in here. Um, last year, I started off using two batteries. That's how I got my fish finder to last me literally weeks. But at the end of the ice fishing season, I went down to one battery because I feel like I was kind of overdoing it, I guess you could say. Uh, unless I'm going on a trip, unless I don't have power, there's no reason for me to run both of these in parallel. Um, so I just went down to one and charged it every day or every second day or something like that. And the other battery I put into a Dakota Lithium power box. Because as you guys know, I film my ice fishing and my open water fishing videos and with filming comes camera gear, with camera gear comes batteries, and with batteries comes batteries dying. So I put one of these batteries into this puppy right here, and um, that is my source of power for all my trips. So I will be running one battery from now on in here, and one battery in my Dakota Lithium power box because I need the power. So you guys may ask, Isabella, why is your ice fishing box so big. <laughs> it is very, very big. Let's talk about the box itself and then go into the details. So um, first off, this is a Plano gun ammo case box. I bought it at a Canadian Tire for like 30 bucks. Um, it's very, very big. I was looking for a serial code on it so you guys can know the exact model, but I cannot find one. But there's a reason for it being big. First reason was that I had a lead acid battery in here before and the lead acid battery that I was using was big and I usually had two in here because one used to die kind of deal. So that's why I got a bigger box is because my batteries would die and I'd carry extras. Moving on, another reason why I picked a bigger box is that as you guys can see, I have everything in here. With the box itself, it actually comes with another like top layer that you can remove and take, you know, put, put on and take off. I took that off completely just because without it, I can fit my graph, <laughs> as you guys can see. And I can fit, you know, some extra batteries, some camera gear, some tackle in here, my transducer, everything. 
I can fit in here. And that's the biggest question I get with my box is why is it so big? Um, it's for that reason. I can just fit everything in here, have everything in here at once. I'm moving from hole to hole, from spot to spot. Everything is in this box right here. Now let's get into some more of the details. Uh, my graph, which is actually very, very dirty right now, is the Humminbird Helix 5. It's just the sonar. It's actually the first generation as well as my second graph I ever bought. And the reason why I don't have the Humminbird specific ice box is because this is actually off my boat. What I did is I took this graph off my boat with the ram mount. And what I do is I put the ram mount on like so. And I put it on here. You can have endless options. You can move stuff around. You can move the graph around. You can do whatever you want. You can have it upside down looking up, whatever you want. But this mobility right here is another reason why I went with this whole making my own setup kind of deal. So let's take this off and go into a little bit more detail for you guys. Back in here, we have the ice transducer. Like that. Let me actually attach it right here. So I have this graph here. I have the ice transducer, which I usually wrap around here or wrap around here or something like that. And I plug that in. And I actually have the battery cable coming from inside right here to attach to my graph like so. Let's see if she turns on. <laughs> She's on. As you guys can see, she is on. That's usually how I have it, just like that. Graph will turn on, of course. I'm not in water, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm not gonna go into the specifics on how I set up my sonar. That's for another whole video. I did have my father help me make this, obviously. He's actually an engineer, so he knows a lot more about this stuff than I do. Um, the RAM mount here, as you guys can see, is silver. It's not actually RAM uh, from the RAM company itself. I got that from him from his work. So you can buy the whole ball head separately, or you can... Here, the wiring inside, like I said, I have it par parallel. I don't remember grade 11 physics too well, so that's pretty much all I'm going to say because I don't know what I'm saying. And as you guys can see, it's color coordinated, obviously, and I can have two batteries or just one battery that I have inside right here. You know, in the future, if you guys are looking to make something like this, I would definitely look into something smaller unless you are planning on carrying a tackle box or some extra tackle or camera gear in here. I'm, I would not go any smaller personally for my um, for, the, for what I use this for, for lugging stuff around with me. I mean, I can fit a whole, I can fit a cooler in here <laughs> with like tea or something. It's, it's great. It's absolutely great. But um, yeah, if you're, if you're less mobile on the ice or if you are doing a lot of walking or if you don't need two batteries or if you don't need camera gear, I would definitely recommend going smaller. It does take up a quite a bit of room and it is a little bit on the heavier side, obviously, because you put more stuff in there. So like I said, I'm going to leave links to the Coda Lithium down below in the description, a Canadian link and the link to their website. Like I said, night and day difference. Um, very, very satisfied with this product right here. And yeah, <laughs> if you guys have any more questions, let me know. And hopefully you guys have been going ice fishing. I haven't gone yet. I'm still waiting for ice to form here a little bit safer. Stay safe out there. Make sure you guys have enough safe ice before you head out. Always spud your way out, especially early season. And uh, have fun out there. I'll see you guys in the next one.